Hi, my name is Lisa Middleton. I paint and restore historic maps. Today I will tell you about one of my favorite maps, the plan of Captain Carver's travels in the interior parts of North America. Detailing the planned travel routes that Captain Jonathan Carver planned to make in the interior parts of North America, this 1781 map by the same name is quite detailed. Colorization is used to detail the boundaries of the territories themselves, as well as the areas that are adjacent to Lake Superior and Lake Michigan. As for locations on the map, great attention was given to the indigenous people of the area. These include mostly Native Americans as well as a few other types of settlements. Rivers are clearly and expertly drawn in rich detail to provide full aid while traveling. As for the man behind the map, Captain Carver was originally from Massachusetts. Once married, he later moved to Connecticut where he had seven children by his wife. He joined the militia towards the beginning of the French and Indian War, where he took up a love for exploration. In 1766, he was contracted to find a western trade route leading to the Pacific Ocean. You know this route as the Northwest Passage. The incentive was that he would be guaranteed a great amount of gold for his discoveries and contributions should he successfully map the new trade route. The current route that stretched towards the southern portion of the Cape of Good Hope was too long and was always involved in a skirmish of sorts with the contesting European political powers of the day. The map you see here shows his interior travels through Northwest America, as it was known at the time, as part of his exploration attempt to find the Northwest Passage. Captain Carver would use the already established fur trade routes by the French and do some trading along the way to help finance the endeavor. He left with several large fur trading canoes to begin his journey. This map is so detailed, it reads more like a storybook than a navigational aid. A great piece of history and a look at a time in our nation's history when fur trade reigned supreme in our land. Please visit www.greatriverarts.com to see more beautiful hand-painted historic maps by Lisa Middleton.